Welcome back to Quick Pixel, and we are making this graffiti type text effect for this video. So let's get into it. So first of all, just make a canvas and click on this type tool and type in your text. And for this, I'm going to type text and the font I'm using is Carl Hyperblob. The font link will be in the description so you can download it from there. So I'm going to place the text in the middle and now go to FX and choose gradient overlay. Click on this gradient bar and double click on this slider. Now choose a bright green color like this one. Double click here to make another slider and choose a blue color like this. Double click here again and choose a purple color. Double click here again and choose a yellowish orange. Double click here again and choose a red color. You can play with these scalings if you like. So I'm gonna place it right here, go to a stroke and choose a white color. And increase its size a bit like that. Make sure it's set on inside and go to drop shadow. Increase the opacity to maximum and choose the blending options to normal. And make sure the spread is 100 as well and set the angle to 30. Now increase its size a bit like that and click on this plus icon so click on the newly made drop shadow and increase the size a bit and choose a white color so it will act as our outline now go to inner shadow and choose a white color set the blending mode to normal and increase the opacity increase the distance a bit like that now click on this plus icon again to make another drop shadow and increase the size a bit like that increase the distance a bit like that and choose a darker blue like this one hit ok once you're done now create a new layer and right click on the text layer and choose copy layer style and click on the layer that we made right click on it and just select paste layer style now double click on this effects so it will bring the layer styles so all you gotta do is just remove this inner shadow and this drop shadow you also gotta remove the distance and here as well hit ok once you're done now select this brush tool and make sure you have hard round brush with 100% hardness on it now increase the size of the brush like this and you can also freely choose the brush size by holding alt on your keyboard and just moving the cursor like that so i'm gonna click right here I will decrease the size and click right here. And you are just free to click how you feel good. And lastly, make sure to put this layer below the text layer. So it will act as a background and I'm going to fill the gaps like that. So that was it for the video. If you like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.